What are the heavenly realms? You hear people talking about heaven, but let me tell you what it really is. Heaven is actually you, because you are fractal of God. Everybody is just God, source, the universe, whatever you want to call it, experiencing existence. And I have proof. So if you're spiritual and your third eye is open and you've taken some sort of psychedelic, you will see something very similar to this. But I've come to realize only a fraction of the spiritual community can see this kind of imagery. A lot of them just see a lot of geometric shapes or colorful colors. But it's very rare for them to see something like this. But me and a select few that I've spoken to, we have been lucky enough to see the higher realms. And if you look at this Alex Gray painting, Alex Gray is a profound spiritualist. His paintings are beautiful and they're very accurate. This is what the heavenly realms truly look like. Do you see all the eyes? I've seen this in my visions as well. Do you know what the eyes stand for? The eyes are you perceiving yourself. Here are some more examples. Look at all of the eyes and they're all hues of red and blue and purple. You know how I said we are just the universe experiencing itself? You know the story of Odin, Odin and his eye? Odin took out one of his eyes to perceive himself. This is exactly what we're doing. Speaking of which, right there, another Alex Gray painting describing exactly what I'm saying. I've seen this in my visions as well. Literally two eyes just looking at each other. This is where you get the concept of duality. How does God or source know what it is? It has to perceive itself to discover itself. Existence right now is literally the manifestation of source or God trying to understand itself. Currently, I'm in China for a little trip and to visit family and the island where I'm from called Zhoushan Island is actually a heavily Buddhist, if anything, everybody here is Buddhist, based community. And we have this very well-known Buddhist temple. Look at it. It's exactly the Alex Gray painting. Except the, the little vessels don't contain eyes. They contain little Buddhas, but it's basically the same message. And here's another angle. Um, I know if you have seen this, you've seen this. If you've taken psychedelics and you've seen this, or even just in your meditation um, visions, you don't necessarily have to take shrooms, you will see this. The heavenly realms is just eyes. It's just you perceiving yourself because all is one. We are all one. All there is is just unity consciousness. The reason why we experience polarity and separation in this realm is because this realm is way too dense. The third dimension is extremely dense and we have forgotten where we came from. Heaven is not some blissful place that exists outside of you. If you want to learn more about how we came to be and what is the true history of humanity, because we do have a galactic history, I've written a book all about it. It's called Made in God's Image and it's linked in my bio. But to conclude, realize that heaven is not a physical place outside of you. It's within you. We are all fractals or iterations of God or source. This is why when you tap into the higher realms, or actually the realm closest to singularity, because there is no higher or lower, it's what is closest to source. You will see millions of eyes looking back at you because you are perceiving yourself. Just like how I'm talking to you through a screen, we're actually all just one entity. This is a slightly more advanced spiritual concept and not a lot of people believe in the law of one or unity consciousness. But trust me, the farther down you go on this path of spirituality, the more that we're all just one entity called God or Source experiencing different iterations of itself.